Hello, Logan. We're going to work on a song, Good Lovin' Gone Bad by Bad Company. It's in the key of A, so we're going to be playing it off uh, the A in the open chord position. So I will... Okay. So we're just going to... The opening run is this. It sounds like this, and then I'll show you how it goes. So that's just off this A. And then we're going to um, add the 3rd fret on the B string and the 4th fret on the D string. And when we do that, we're just going to focus our pick attack on those three strings. We're going to let this A string ring out if we can. If it doesn't ring out, that's okay too. It's more important to, to get that piece of it in. So the whole thing is going to kind of go like this. And then we're going to slide up to the 7th fret and do that same thing again. When we do it up here, that focus on the pick hand is on just the D, G, and B strings. And that happens twice. So it's... We slide the last one, we kind of slide down to get into this where we're going to pick up the E string, O, 2, 3. Second string on the A string, or second fret on the A string. Open G. Into a D chord. And then we're going to kind of bend this third fret on the A string and then play the whole thing again. So... So that's the intro. That gets us to the verse which uh, the verse is going to be three chords, uh, A, D, and G. And we're going to kind of do, um, uh, the A is just going to be a straight A. So it's a full strum, two palm mutes, strum, two palm mutes. Strum, two palm mutes, strum, two palm mutes, strum. And the, um, the D chord, we're going to um, toggle on and off this fourth fret on the G string. And we're really just going to pick these inside two strings, the D and the G. So it's... And then the, for the G, we're just going to really play uh, this low note here. So it's the same um, pick pattern as the last one, the D chord. We're just going to toggle on the second fret of the D string. So it's... And then we're going to end with this little run. So twice on the A, and then we're going to go three, four on the A string, three, four, up to two on the G string. So it's strum twice, three, four, two, three, four, and then back to the beginning of that whole piece. So it sounds like this. back into the intro. Um, so that's the intro piece and the verse piece. Um, then there's kind of this pre-chorus um, which sounds like this. So 
So it's just an A, and then to this, uh, it's I think it's a suspended fourth, but that same thing we did at the beginning on the intro lick, we're just going to add this in. And kind of do a slow strum so that we get that. And then the second time we come up to this, we're going to back pick through it. So that sounds like this. Um, we do that twice, and then the second one we go. And that's uh, to finish it off, so it'll sound like this. And then um, we're going to go into uh, the chorus section, which sounds like this. Um, so that last chord, it's A, G, and then D, and we're going to go, we're going to go three, three, four, three. I'm sorry, three, four to two. Um, so we do that twice. And then we're going to do this. And then we're going to go to a straight D chord, but we're going to add the F sharp, which is the second fret. And then we're going to go down to the same chord, but we're going to flip around and get our index finger on that first fret while still getting these two strings of the normal D chord. So. And then we're going to go that you actually want to hit the low E string. And that's how that, the chorus progression ends. So, um, the chorus goes. So um, if I play from the um, in the intro section before the second verse into the second verse pre-chorus chorus it will sound like this. Next lesson, I'll walk you through the solo to this, and uh, we can go from there. Email me if you have any questions.